when we're in a face-to-face -face relationship with God and we begin to feel how God feels about us, if he reveals any root of bitterness or shows us as anything, accusations against us or anything like that, it comes out of the relationship he has for us and he's always going to reveal it so that he can bring healing and wholeness to us. He's never going to reveal it to accuse us or, or make us feel guilty or condemned in any way. Now, of course, if someone's, if we find an accusation against us, then of course we can choose to forgive the person or own the accusation and receive God's forgiveness and receive you know, the verdict of not guilty or innocent associated with any accusation against us. We don't have to be sin conscious. We don't, we can be forgiveness conscious and focus on the forgiveness that's already given us in Christ. So ultimately, the relationship determines what God would show us and also the process he would take us through to bring us into wholeness and to bring us into the fullness and to be free from any negative things in our lives. But let him set the agenda. Don't go to him trying to find things. If he shows you anything or anything comes to light, then you can ask him how he wants you to deal with it. Often, it's just a matter of acknowledging it and allowing him to take you through a process that might require forgiveness of people. Uh, it, you know, if there's a root of bitterness, then it's usually because someone's hurt us or damaged us and we just not dealt with it. But he's not condemning us because of that. He's just bringing it into light so that the light can bring truth and the truth can set us free. So I would sort of, again, just focused on being in the relationship, relaxing in the relationship, you know, any negative feelings of fear, um, guilt, content, we, they're not coming from God. Uh, so those are the things that God wants to free you from. So you can enjoy being with him and enjoy your life and enjoy the, the fullness of joy and rejoicing and fellowship with him in this life. So I just encourage you, just relax. Don't think you have to do anything. Just be open. You're a living sacrifice. He's the high priest. He's quite capable of preparing the sacrifice, which really means that he's going to deal with anything, whether in your thinking, in your emotions, in your body, that's a hindrance to you having an intimate relationship with him. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.